It is now time for the 2024 WSC 30 Man Royal Rumble Match. And for the first time ever, it is Bloodline versus All. As the Tribal Chief has a huge target on his back as he attempts to defend his WSC World Hardcore Championship at the number one position. Introducing the champion, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WSC World Hardcore Champion, Herman Haynes! He gave his word that he would start this match at number one. Call the Tribal Chief what you will, but you can't deny that he is truly a man of his sacred word. But can he live up to the hype? Can he live up to his own and his family's expectations by outlasting 29 other men in this grueling, brutal, Hardcore Championship Match! The Bloodline have made many enemies and I can assure you they are waiting back there, salivating at the prospect of being the one to eliminate Reigns and his family. And I am just one of many that the Bloodline, they've ruined my life, they took away my best buddy, my dog Tibbles. And I will get my pound of flesh tonight, mark my words. Ones in the air! Despite everything Roman has done to this industry, this company, to the men who called themselves WSC Hardcore Champion before him, they all cannot deny the dominance that is the name Roman Reigns. Introducing the individual who drew number two, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gontar! I just knew I wasn't the only one wondering how long it was going to take until we've seen this man in a WSC ring, the ring general. Gunther, a man who brutalizes each and every one of his opponents in that squared circle. To him, that ring is sacred. And I apologize for my voice. It's shot, but I'm still going to give you the best commentary you've ever heard in your life, baby. What a face-off this is. A dream matchup to start off the Royal Rumble for the most prestigious championship in the game, the WSC World Hardcore Championship. And Gunther, that man is a weapon in and of himself. He doesn't need no weapons to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roman Reigns. Yeah, and you know, if you ask me, screw every other man in this match. This is a WrestleMania main event in itself. <laughs> Huge elbow by Roman. Kicked to the gut by Gunther. And now Gunther looking to pummel the Tribal Chief. Gunther, one of the most hard-hitting superstars in the world. And look at this. Gunther about to eliminate Roman Reigns. How is Reigns going to weather this storm? Roman Reigns fighting back with those vicious elbows, trying to go for the uppercut. But he gets cut off by the Reign General as he takes off the head of the Chief. A wicked lariat taken off the head of the head of the table. I'm loving this. Roman Reigns being dominated in the early goings. How huge would it be if Gunther eliminated the world champ here and now in his first match ever in WSC? Oh my goodness! Did you hear the sound of that? The first chop in Gunther's WSC career. And it deafened a lot of people sitting in the front row, no doubt. Yeah. And again, just mincing the chest meat of the Tribal Chief. Reigns is in trouble here. 
Another brutal Gunther chop. And now he's looking to torture the champ. Gunther establishing dominance in the early goings of this match. It could be over for Reigns right here. He could be eliminated. No. Reigns barely hanging on here as we await number three in this Royal Rumble match. Freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. This man has grown a cult following, but is it enough to take out two of the biggest heavyweights that this match could offer? This is the debut of Orange Cassidy, the king of sloth style, and this guy can really go in the ring, but it just depends if he feels like it. He likes to play mind games, he likes to have fun with his opponents, but I don't know if that's gonna work this time. Honestly, if I were a bit man, I don't think Orange Cassidy lasts five minutes with those two in the ring. But hey, he's gonna try his damnedest, and that's all we could ever ask for here in WSC. Well, this is a stare-off that I never knew that I would see. And now hands in the pockets, he unlocks his full power. Oh my God! Good Lord! Come on now, this is too much! Chop from Gunther. Yeah, I think we've all uh, had our fill with Fantasyland. But here comes the sniveling little prick and Dominic Mysterio. Ray's baby boy, Dirty Dom of the Judgment Day, has arrived. The most hated, most despicable man in this industry, but somehow this guy's a chick magnet. I don't know how he landed mommy. Whoa, Orange Cassidy, even with his hands in his pockets, still finds a way to one-up Roman Reigns of all people. Reigns hanging on for dear life, and Dominic not even allowed to get into the ring yet. Kept up by OC. Gunther watching in the background, not sure what to make of it. Gunther's got to be livid. The mat is sacred to him. And now from behind, Gunther with a kick to the gut. Looking for a suplex. Orange Cassidy with a stunt dog millionaire. Ducks the close line. Orange punch to the man who innovated the Superman punch, but he's gone anyway. Gunther's just had enough. He put a stop to all these shenanigans. And honestly, I can't really blame him. But now Dirty Dom... Trying to eliminate Gunther the only way he knows how, from behind, like a coward. I don't think it's going to end well for Dominic as Gunther fights back here. What? Oh, my God. I, I just can't get used to that sound, man. I can't imagine what Dominic felt there, and I don't think I want to. You can't pay me enough to get chopped by Gunther, Nate. Challenge accepted. go the mega star everyone's favorite la night yeah la night just blew the roof off this place what a reaction as he gets his first shot at the wsc world hardcore championship yeah just listen to this place that man has been making strides here in wsc and he's barely done anything BFT! Oh. Once again from behind, Dominic using his repertoire of skills, which is none, to try and take out LA Knight. But he hits the diving shoulder block into the ropes. Pop up power slam! Such strength from the megastar, with everybody saying, Yeah! Huge elbow to the chest of Dirty Dog. I think it's time we say bye-bye to Dominic. No, Dominic. 
hanging on here, stays in this Rumble match. And now Reigns taking the fight to LA Knight as we await number six. familiar face, a staple of this company, a man who's gone through so much to get to this point in his career, Alistair Black is here to kick some heads off of some shoulders. Black is a former two-time World Hardcore Champion, looking to get back there tonight. Can he win this Royal Rumble match? Oh my God, did you hear the sound of that kneecap crashing into the side of the head of the ring general? And now Dominic trying his luck, but there is no luck when you're facing off against Alistair Black! What athleticism, Alistair Black, so skilled in that ring. He had a great run in the 2020 Royal Rumble, being the runner-up. Black Mass! And the champ is out cold! Oh my God! Alistair Black is here, making an impact. And here comes Gunther with a big boot. I think it's time for Gunther to show Alistair Black the meaning of pain. Oh my God. And even Alistair has to admit, that hurt. And now into the corner, Gunther trying to eliminate Alistair Black. LA Knight stomping mud holes into the chest of Dominic Mysterio. And everyone here in attendance, they want more. They're loving everything they're seeing right here tonight. The ring's starting to fill up as we await number seven. Who is it? Oh my goodness! It's him! Carmelo! Making his debut here at WSC. Let's see what this kid's got. Carmelo Hayes, one of the biggest, brightest stars. A huge get for WSC here. Gonna mix it up with the champ. What a tilt a roll face play by Melo. Super kick to LA Knight. He doesn't know what hit him. First 48 connects to LA Knight. Yeah. Ducks the chop and a pump kick to the face of Gunther. Melo is on fire. Now Black wants a piece. Hits him with a knee. Blocks the kick. It's a curry by Melo. Alistair Black is stunned. Melo with a springboard clothesline. This man is all over the place. If there's one thing Melo knows, it's speed. And now Gunther trying to eliminate Melo before his momentum reaches its apex. LA Knight trying to eliminate the champion. So many surprises. This has been so much fun so far. As we await number eight. And it looks like Dominic's got some backup in the form of the Dark Prince, Finn Balor. A former WSC World Hardcore Champion in his own right. Here to reclaim the throne, possibly. And I think he's got a better chance than anybody right now. With Dominic Mysterio being able to back him up. And now Finn Balor trying to help his Judgment Day brethren by attacking Aleister Black. And now this has turned into a mugging. This is where it's advantageous to have a partner, to have a friend in the Royal Rumble. You can team up and you can take out everybody else. And that's what they're trying to do here to Alistair Black. Whoa, LA Knight, this close to being eliminated, but he still hangs on. And so does Alistair Black. And now Gunther and Roman, both on their lonesome as Carmelo Hayes tries to take a shot at the current champ. And now Gunther trying to eliminate the former champion as Dominic saves Finn. Yeah. Pele kick to the top of the noggin. Gunther is stunned. And Roman laying out those headbutts on the upstart Carmelo Hayes as the sling blade commences onto Gunther. LA Knight and Carmelo trying to take out the champ as we await the next entrant.
Kevin Owens. Your good friend, buddy old pal of yours. Number nine, Kevin Owens. And yes, we do have a lot of history, a lot of bad blood, but that's in the past now. He's taken my championship on two occasions. And yeah, we're gonna move on from that. I think we're cool now, but Kevin Owens, I gotta give him credit. He is relentless. When he gets in that ring, you can beat him down as much as you want. He's gonna keep on fighting. Kevin Owens has a lot weighing down on him. He seems to think that the world is out to get him. Hence, the catchphrase, fight everyone. And now Kevin Owens is just pulling out the toys, wasting no time bringing out the table. And I know the people love their tables. No disqualification in a Royal Rumble match. Kevin Owens looking to get hardcore and win the hardcore championship once again. Oh! Alistair Black kicks the trash can lid into the face of Kevin Owens, but he's got more toys. The cookie sheet bouncing off the head of Black and onto the back of Gunther, the back of Finn Balor. Super kicks the cookie sheet into the face of Dominic Mysterio. And now I think I know what Kevin Owens has in mind here. Cannonball into the cookie sheet. Crushes the skull of Dominic Mysterio. As we await the next entrant once again, we're going to go all night, baby. Kenny Omega, the god of pro wrestling, has made his presence known. But can he go all the way? Can he one of the best there is, but he just hasn't had that moment where he's broken through here in WSC. Could tonight be that night? Dragon suplex to Finn. Here comes Kevin, gets the clothesline kick right out of him. Another dragon suplex to Kevin. And now Carmelo trying to make a name for himself by eliminating legend and Kenny Omega. A living legend, rather. But Kenny Omega has other ideas. Trigger! Carmelo Hayes is eliminated, and now Reigns going off to Kenny Omega. And these two have history from the battles between the Shield and the Elite. Dominic trying to suplex Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens, you know, he's a bit on the hefty side, and Dominic's a little too small. Kick to the gun. Stunner! There goes Dominic, no! And oh, how is he not eliminated? That is one lucky kid. Gotta give him credit, he's tougher than he looks. Now Roman Reigns trying his luck in trying to eliminate Kenny Omega. As Finn Balor lays out the punches and bunches against Kevin Owens, Aleister Black trying to eliminate both Kenny and Roman. Uso! Reigns got some backup. One half of the brothers Uso, Jimmy is here to help his tribal chief. Honestly, it's my obligation at this point. Yeah, the Usos are getting tired of the mistreatment from Roman Reigns. They've rebelled a few times, but still the family pulls them back in. And now Alistair Black fighting back. Someone went dropped by Jimmy. On to Alistair Black. And Roman Reigns has his sights set. Force against, oh! Try to win for the super kick. Jimmy Uso almost got eliminated there. Close line by Roman. Alistair Black is hanging by a thread. Black in trouble and Gunther also by Omega. Super kick to Alistair. Hanging with only one hand. Locked and loaded. Superman punch. Alistair is gone. The bloodline paying dividends for Roman Reigns and what a chop to Kenny Omega. As now Gunther trying to eliminate Omega, but here comes LA Knight! LA Knight taking the fight for the Tribal Chief! Now Gunther taking a shot at Kenny Omega. As LA Knight stopping mud holes into the gut of Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso to the rescue as the countdown commences once again. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I know who this is! It's Demon! The forbidden door is open! The Fallen King has arrived in WSC! The current GCW World Champion! The Fallen King!
Fallen King! He made a name for himself by going to hell and back in a three stages of hell match against Pentagon Jr. And now he's looking to do the same here in WSC in the Royal Rumble. Get him, G! Double G kick to Finn Balor! And now he's got Dominic Mysterio! Omega Driver! Incredible! G-Man kicking some ass! It just feels so damn right to see G-Man in this ring! But I can't say the same for Kevin Owens! And here we have a hockey fight! Kevin Owens doesn't like outsiders! He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with G-Man! This is freaking awesome! And Nate, you've had battles with both of these men! Who are you rooting for? I'm going for my boy G. G-Man answers back! Oh! Looking for the stunner, G-Man escapes. And now, looking for his finish! Suplex stunner! G-Man making a big impact and Kenny Omega in trouble! Almost eliminated! New jumper cut by Roman to G-Man. G-Man shaking his head. Oh, He's not gonna take that line this down. This is mine! You wait on my room. But G-Man to finally trying to do battle with the bloodline. But the numbers game proving too much. Until he failed the cash in against Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. Could tonight be his second chance at World Championship Gold? AJ Styles has had an attitude change as of late. He's been so bitter, so angry ever since he lost that cash in, and he blames it all on Cody Rhodes. AJ Styles trying to eliminate his former Bullet Club brethren and Kenny Omega. Trying to pry his hands off the bottom rope as G-Man is fighting for his life against the Bloodline. Trying to lay out a few licks to both Jimmy and Roman. Pele kick to the side of the head. Kenny Omega hanging precariously. Kevin Owens fighting for his own damn life against the Judgment Day as Roman Reigns is pummeling G-Man into the corner. The ring really filling up here. The Judgment Day and the Bloodline have been dominant, but Kevin Owens trying to fight back on the Judgment Day. Everyone here out for survival, and that's the nature of these Royal Rumble matches. Every man for himself, unless you're the Bloodline or the Judgment Day, of course. And now, Kevin Owens is looking to cripple Dominic Mysterio. Powerbomb to the outside, through the table. But wait, Dominic, oh, what a reversal, almost Eliminates Kevin Owens, and now Dominic and Finn have even more backup in the form of Damian Priest. The Judgment Day trio are complete. They could be a force to be reckoned with in this Royal Rumble. Damian Priest making his in-ring debut in WSC. And now Damian. Oh no! Oh no! Jumps back through the table. A brutal elimination of Kevin Owens. And with that, I guess Kevin Owens is eliminated. The trigger to Finn Balor. But Damian Priest had a plan set for Kenny Omega. Now LA Knight doing battle with Gunther. Kenny's in trouble. South of Heaven choke slam. And now Damian going after LA Knight and Gunther as G-Man is still not eliminated. G-Man hanging on as the Judgment Day now pummeling LA Knight in the corner. The numbers game in effect. Yeah, as you can see, both feet have not touched the ground as Gunther fighting a one on three against the Judgment Day and losing pretty badly. And it's AJ trying his luck against the Bloodline. Gunther on the verge of elimination as the Judgment Day all ganging up on him as we await for number 15 halfway through. Another member of the Bloodline, the other half of the Usos, Shane, the right-hand man. And now, 
Looking to save. Wait a minute. Oh! Super kick to G-Man. Going right after AJ Styles to save his cousin. And now Gunther. Oh! Almost thought he was going to get eliminated there. Double super kick to Kenny Omega. And one to LA Knight. When you put two Usos together, they're damn near unstoppable. Wait a minute. Look at this face-off. Two deadly factions face-to-face -face in the middle of this ring. Something's got to give. And here we go. War has entered the fray. The OG3 of the bloodline versus the Judgment Day, who is the most dominant faction in WSC. Fighting for supremacy here. Both these factions uber strong in their own right. As Roman tries to take out Damian Priest, two of the biggest men in this ring so far. Well, I stand corrected. Now we have the biggest man in this match. The monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman is here to wreck everything. And you can see everybody in that ring staring at Braun Strowman marching down to the ring. A former hardcore champion in his own right. Here comes Strowman. Crushing Jimmy in the corner. Everybody's going to get these hands. Now Roman trying his look against Braun. I think those punches just tickle. He's got him in his clutch with the power slam. Oh my god, I think he just knocked the hell out of Ken Kenny Omega. And now LA Knight, that's not a good idea, G! Oh, spine buster! Huge kick to the side of the head. Braun is stunned, and now Dominic and Damian trying to eliminate him. All of the Judgment Day with their combined might. Still isn't enough to get rid of the monster. Now the Judgment Day rolling out of the ring. They are not eliminated. They went under the bottom rope. All three members of the Judgment Day wisely rolling out of the ring to recuperate. But I don't think Braun Strowman gives a damn. Because I think it's time for the Strowman Express. Boom! 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 Braun is a force to be reckoned with. And now, speaking of force, I'm forced to call a match with this little prick once again. I'm ashamed to say that I called this man a friend. This guy is anything but salt of the earth. This guy is a pure scumbag. I gotta say, Nate, you sure have a way with choosing your friends. Yeah, don't remind me. Him and Rollins, they're dead to me. And I hope that MJF is in the ring when I get in because I want to get my hands on MJF. In any case, MJF is here to make a name for himself. I mean, I, I kind of want to see the look on your face if he actually wins this thing. Because I think it'd be pretty funny. You know, friend to friend. Real friend to friend. Let's be real here. But, uh, yeah, on the other hand, I'd like to see MJF get eliminated ASAP. Being friends with MJF, I learned all his dirty tricks, and he wanted me to be just like him. I'm so glad that I didn't listen. Superman punched a Braun Strowman, and with that, maybe he has enough leverage to take him out. Jimmy and Jay helping out their cousin Roman. But it's his own... Look at this! Along with the Judgment Day! And this could be it! Braun Strowman's out of here! It took all of them to eliminate Strowman, but now, what's gonna happen? And I think that alliance is short-lived. Yep! My hunch was right! LA Knight trying to get one up on MJF once again here in WSC. But now, we are going to bear witness to another beast in his own right, Braun Breaker. This man is a dark horse in this Royal Rumble match. He could seriously make an impact. The speed, the power of Braun Breaker, the intensity.
He's going to get in there and he's going to feast. Inside the ring, Dominic tries his hand, gets the spear, gets cut in half by Braun. And now Breaker's feeling himself. Finn Balor trying his luck, pop up into the power slam. Or just a regular slam. I thought he was going to go for a power slam. And Dominic Mysterio's eliminated. Spear to Finn Balor. Notice how Braun wasted no time in doing that. And now he's wasting no time eliminating each member of the Judgment Day single-handedly. Damian Priest is shocked. He's the only one left. And now, looking to put an end to Braun Breaker's madness. Escapes the South of Heaven chokeslam. Huge clothesline. Levels Damian Priest. Now Roman sickening Jay onto Braun Breaker. The mad dog knows no master. And now look into Roman Reigns. He wants a shot at the champ. What a face-off this is. What a match this would be as we await number 19. A-Town. But oh, here comes one half of the tag champ here at WSC. Atlanta's own Austin Theory. Here we had a great showing in last year's Royal Rumble at the number one position, making it all the way to the final four. That was under the tutelage of Mick Foley's training, but will that carry over here? Austin Theory already has some gold. I think he wants all of it. He wouldn't be in this match if he didn't. Into the ring he goes with that rolling thunder drop kick to both Braun and Roman. Now trying his luck against all the top names in this matchup. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, wow! And now G-Man facing off against AJ Styles. AJ fighting for survival. Austin Theory trying to fight to prove his name to everyone here in attendance at WSC. Ever since he had that training with Mick Foley, he's turned a new leaf once he met Grayson Waller who I have a feeling we're going to see very soon in this matchup. But that's just me, that's just a theory. A prediction of mine, courtesy of your own Danny Meltz. MJF in serious trouble there. And now Roman Reigns trying to stop LA Knight from eliminating his right hand man. LA Knight hanging on. Oh man, that was a close call there for LA Knight. And now he's got all three members of the bloodline looking in his direction. You know, I am very impressed with the temerity of L.A. Knight. Oh! The bloodline, in unison, eliminate the megastar. But here comes the former WSC hardcore champ, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. An ounce of hope has been found with Cody Entering the Rumble with his longtime rival Roman Reigns in the middle of that ring as well. Cody Rhodes is ready to go into battle to vanquish the bloodline once again. But will he be as lucky as last time? Cody Rhodes made history last year being the first superstar to win the Royal Rumble and retain their championship. He was screwed over by Jey Uso, a man he called his friend, and now he wants the title back. If I'm Cody Rhodes, I would stop at nothing to reclaim the championship gold for the honor of my father, for the honor of everyone here watching right now, and he goes right after the man who took it all from him. He's beaten Reigns before. Can he do it again as he tries to fight off the bloodline? Cody Cutter to Jimmy. Wait, AJ from behind. AJ 
from behind. Remember, he still has a vendetta against Cody Rhodes. And speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Grayson Waller, the little devil on Austin Theory's shoulder, whispering into his ear to betray Mick Foley, has entered the Royal Rumble. And Austin Theory's chances of winning this thing have drastically gone up as he takes down G-Man. Theory was really turning a corner with Mick Foley, becoming a better person. But now he met Grayson Waller and he's reverted him back to his old ways. There's a real bad influence on Theory. A-Town down under trying to take out G-Man from this matchup. And there's the low blow from AJ Styles, who refuses to play clean. You cost me everything. It's your fault. Now you're gonna pay. Well, AJ Styles has made his intentions clear. He wants to make Cody Rhodes suffer the wrath of his vengeance. The one shot AJ had at Championship Gold, and it was wasted, all because of Cody Rhodes. And now he's brought the chair. Whoa! Cody able to duck that attempt. Disaster kick through the chair. AJ's down. Cody Rhodes gets one up on AJ once again if he hits this. Crossroads spikes AJ's head onto the mat, and AJ's out of here. Cody Rhodes gets his revenge on AJ Styles, and now Braun Breaker taking the fight to the former hardcore champion. And oh man, Cody on the verge of being eliminated as we wait number 22. The legend killer. The apex predator, a mentor of Cody, a past mentor in fact, Cody Rhodes' last successful title defense was against that man and Randy Orton. And now Randy taking out MJF. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory stand no chance against the Viper as he hits that patented power slam. Away from behind, Damian Priest, sells the heaven, chucks them into an RKO from out of nowhere. And out goes Damian. And the entire Judgment Day is gone, and here comes Theory attacking Randy Orton, who saw the potential in Theory and wanted to mentor him himself before he turned down the offer and befriended Grayson Waller. And now Waller has the perfect opportunity. Oh, he hits the knee onto Austin Theory instead. Randy Orton with an RKO. That man has eyes on the back of his head, all right. He has reflexes that you have never seen in your life. Who's next in this Royal Rumble match? What? There's absolutely no way! It's the Aerial Assassin! Will Bloody Osprey! Finally, the Aerial Assassin, Will Osprey, is in the Rumble and in WSC! There was a time for the longest period where everyone here, everyone in the world, thought it would be impossible for Will Ospreay to appear in WSC. But this is no dream, people. It's the real deal. The aerial assassin taking down MJF, but out he goes. No, hanging on. Fighting off Gunther here. Now Ospreay taking to the sky. Phenomenal forearm. Shades of the man that got him into wrestling, AJ Styles. And now Ospreay taking a crack at the former champ, the Cody. He's not gonna go down without a fight. Oh, pull kick to the face. Signaling for the Oz Cutter, can he hit it? He hits it! That ain't no Cody Cutter, that's an Oz Cutter from Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay is a tour de force when it comes to everything done right in the professional wrestling industry. But speaking of, the franchise is here. The GOAT, John Cena. We haven't seen him since WrestleMania, but he is back and he's getting a shot at the Hardcore Championship. 
There have been rumors that John Cena is entering his last legs in this business. But when I look at him, he looks as healthy as can be. I think we're gonna see more of Cena in WSC, especially if he wins this Royal Rumble match and becomes WSC Hardcore Champ. And Cena now takes down MJF and G-Man. Taking the fight to one half for the Hardcore Tag Team Champions. Oh my God, collateral damage. Hey, he ate a Grayson Waller. Jey Uso tries his luck. He's about to put oh! Roman Reigns cutting off the fun emphatically with that vicious spear. Wow! You're serious? It's time, Danny. And here I thought you were just being cute, wearing those tights. Nate Nate Dog is about to go wild. You know, I wasn't exaggerating, because now he's bringing out the class. Now, Jey Uso, yeah, that's not a good idea. How stupid can you be? And now Nate has the kendo stick. Laying out the punishment of the bloodline who have been giving him nothing but hell for the past few years, rather. I was gonna say months, but it feels so much longer than that. And you can see it in the actions of the state creator. But wait, MJF from behind, trying to eliminate Nate. And he thinks he does, and he celebrates? Yeah, that was your friend, Nate. And I think the stage creator has finally wisened up to the shenanigans of MJF. And now Max trying to beg for mercy. He just gets these hands. And now, oh, huge elbow to the face. Looking for a creation of destruction. MJF able to duck. Oh, G-Man to the rescue with that pump knee. Creation of destruction. And now both G and Nate take out the trash. Hell yeah. See you later, MJF. You can't trust him. No, no, you got eliminated fair and square, but uh, wait. Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, my God. Nathan eliminates his pal G-Man. I'm sorry. Every man for himself is right, I guess. But not even the Judgment Day did that to each other. Let that sink in. You know, I'm not trying to insinuate anything. I'm just saying. It's kind of wild to see that. And it's also wild to see CM Punk. It took me a while to acknowledge his presence. But there's just so much stuff going on in that ring. As Roman is trying to eliminate Nathan, CM Punk takes out Austin. Goes right after Jey Uso in the corner with that knee. Grayson Waller almost gets eliminated by CM Punk. Grayson hanging on by a thread. Austin Theory from behind trying to save his tag team partner. Well, wait, Austin almost gets eliminated by Will Ospreay. And now he gets the shot to the face by Grayson Waller. Wait a second, oh, a roundhouse kick to Austin Theory. I think he's hanging on by pure instinct as now CM Punk eliminates Austin Theory. Grayson Waller doesn't know what to do with himself. Tries to survive, hit and played by Will Ospreay. What the hell were you doing, man? See you later, A-Town Down Under. What a couple of idiots. But now CM Punk face to face with Osprey. The best in the world versus the best of today. This is a match I'd love to see one on one. But beggars can't be choosers. I'll see these two in a match any day of the week. And now it's time for the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth. 
freaking Rollins to enter the Rumble at number 27. But one has to wonder, is he going to look out for himself? Or is he going to try to re-mend the friendship that he had with Nathan? And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am lightheaded as hell. But I'm still here. It's enough of a gauntlet to call this match. I can't even imagine what it's like to compete in this match. But now Seth Rollins is fresh as a daisy as he hits Jey Uso with that super kick. Rolling Thunder Elbow to Roman. Falcon Arrow to the champ. And now this is interesting. What are these two gonna do in this matchup? Kick to the gut. I guess they're gonna work together! Come stop to Jay! And that's why these two were the former WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champions. And I guess now it's time, wait! Nathan moves Seth out of the way of that Superman punch. One for the curb stomp, Roman Reigns, whoa! Forces Rollins to almost eliminate Nathan. And now Rollins tries his hand at eliminating Roman Reigns. Whoa! Elbow by Reigns, trying to keep his place at the top of the oh! Curb stomp onto Roman Reigns, and that has to be it. Surely this is it. But Roman Reigns still has enough what fight. What the hell are you I'm doing, Nate? No, I'm talking to you. Seth Rollins was that close what to eliminating you? Roman, but now Nathan in his feelings we over a mistake. You want to fight? You want to start something? Let's do it right now. Let's go. And now Nathan picking a fight against Rollins, and he pays the price for it. Braun Breaker putting an end to this telenovela. Shout out to you if you know what that means. And now, the enforcer of the bloodline, Sola Sokoa, enters at number 28. Possibly Roman's last hope in surviving this matchup as world champion. Rollins trying to get vengeance for Braun, or against Braun rather, spinning Solo. You good, man? That's not how one of things to go. Me and Seth, we've got some stuff to work out, and Kenny Omega eliminated. Come on, man, you gotta get out of your feelings in this matchup. It was a mistake, I saw. Oh, Samoan Spike! I have to deal with that in my own time. I just don't want the bloodline to win this. Orton eliminated, I should be in there. In any case, Solo Sokoa is cleaning house with each and every Samoan Spike, Samoan drop. This man is a Samoan bulldozer. Wink, wink! And now Roman pummeling the face of Cody Rhodes as Sola Sokoa makes sure that Cody is helpless in this endeavor. He's not your friend, and he's not your family. We are. More family drama. Jey Uso still considers himself a friend of Cody Rhodes. But Rollins still trying to take out Roman Reigns. Elbow to Jay. And now Cody Rhodes trying to fight out of this. Cody and Seth pulling a Jujutsu Kaisen onto Sola Sokoa as Cody finishes it off with that bionic elbow. What? The Rock! The final boss! The High Chief! It's truly Bloodline versus all now. This has to be some kind of dream. Not even Cody and Seth can believe it. Cody and Seth forming an alliance here, it seems. They're going to need anything, any help they can get. But Cody wants to smoke. And Roman Reigns looks like he's seen a ghost. But in this case, I guess it's a ghost that helps out the people it haunts. I don't know what I'm trying to say. The fact of the matter is, The Rock is here, and he is laying the smack it down on Cody and Seth. You know, something about this seems familiar, no? No, never seen this before. Wait, Osprey. Oh, he 
beats the steel to the back, and out goes the assassin. I was almost gonna call him the Commonwealth Kingpin. But now CM Punk kicks the sunglasses off of The Rock, goes for the go to sleep, but CM Punk, whoa, almost gets eliminated. You know, I'm glad he knocked those stupid sunglasses off. We're inside, Rock, and now CM Punk can't say the same about himself. Rock bottom to Cena. See you later, John. Damn it. This was not how this match was meant to go. As soon as The Rock entered this matchup, it's been all bloodline through and through. The final boss beaten down. The American Nightmare. He's defenseless. Jay looking on. He looks conflicted. The bloodline then decimating everybody. Dominating every member in this match. The Rock going after Gunther. Solo Sokoa holding Seth Rollins hostage. As Roman Reigns talks that trash into the ear of Rollins. Whoever's number 30, good luck. The Architect, the former Architect is about to eat some steel. Oh my God! No! No, no, there's no way! It can't be, can it? It's John Moxley! The old John Moxley is back! Number 30! No longer! Donning the face paint, Mox is back! Reigns has seen a ghost, his former brother, his former best friend. He's back, he's answered the call. Not to mention he's armed to the teeth with the barbed wire baseball bat and listen to this place. Mox is a one man army with a barbed wire baseball bat. Every single member of the bloodline can get it. And Paul Heyman doesn't know what to think. Blood has been drawn from the leader of the bloodline. Death Rider coming. No Samoan Spike. Ducked it. And now Mox takes out Solo. No, he hangs on. He hung on. Superman punched the Solo. Oh, he eliminated him. He eliminated his cousin. And now Mox has Roman right where he wants him. Death Rider. Shift a breaker! Yeah. And Mox takes out the mad dog! And Reigns is next! But off from behind! Jay Uso with that steel chair! Once again by obligation! Protecting his tribal chief! And he's done well taking out two-thirds of the shield! And now they want to take out Mox for good! Holding Mox back! This is gonna feel damn good for Roman. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Jey Uso didn't mean to do that. Dropping the chair. But Mox eats a Samoan drop. Roman is rocked. And Jey Uso trying to save face, trying to damage control. But Roman's not having any of it. Are you stupid? You almost ruined everything. You're in. You're the whole Getting into the face of Jey Uso. I can understand his frustration, but it was a mistake. But wait, Jey, Jey, super kick, super kick, my God! Has Jey Uso finally come to his senses? Please get off of this emotional roller coaster that is the life of Jay Uso. Now Cody staring at Jay. Is it real this time? Is he gonna allow him to hit the crossroads? Crossroads! Reigns now. There's no one to help him. He's all alone. Say bye-bye to the tribal chief! They've done it! We are guaranteed a new WSC Hardcore Champion! And how fitting the two men he stabbed in the back and betrayed to become tribal chief were the ones to eliminate him! Cody looks so proud of Jay, but The Rock makes him pay! Jey Uso redeemed himself 
but the final boss ain't having none of it. Oh, but turn around, Rock. You ain't gonna like the view. The Rock forgot that because of that, he has no backup against Cody, Mox, and Seth. And I think all three of them are about tired of the bull crap that the bloodline has put us all through. But Guther ruining everything. Chopped to the chest of Seth. And now trying to eliminate him. Everyone still holding on to dear life. And there goes Seth. Cody from behind. Disaster kick to the nose. Super Cody Cutter. Rock! Oh, no oh my way! God. Cody has been eliminated! Here comes Mox! Trying to eliminate The Rock! It's down to these two! Who's gonna take it all? Who's going to be king of WSC? And there goes Moxley! No! Hanging on! One hand! Moxley fighting off the final boss! And now Mox from the top! Elbow drop to a standing rock! Mox is feeling himself! He tastes blood in the water. He sees his gold. He sees his past. And he wants to rectify it by unlocking a new future. But The Rock, rock bottom. Wait a second, what's Rock looking at? And now, with Moxley's weapon of choice, The Rock is gonna make sure he never forgets this night where The Rock Proved to everyone that he is indeed the final boss. Wait, Mox ducks the attack. Death Rider! Death Rider! This is it! Mox eliminates the rock! Five time Mox! He did it! Five time Here Mox! Is your Crying on camera while calling a WSC match. Everything that John Moxley has been through, going into the dark depths of his soul by bringing out his Joker persona, and afterwards having Cody Rhodes beat him into submission to the point where he had to go back to rehab. Moxley has made his triumphant return and now has the goal to prove it. Moxley has made history, winning the Royal Rumble for the first time to capture his fifth hardcore championship. All these years of being put through hell, mentally and physically, and he's back on top. Finally, a new journey begins.